welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Open in Cincinnati, part of the SCG Tour. I'm Nick Miller, alongside Justin Pasquino. How are you doing, sir? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to have you here in the sideboard. We saw you on camera, you know, a couple rounds earlier, decimating some people. <laughs> you know. Decimating is a strong word. <laughs> Beating up the Grixis and the Twin Decks. Yeah, the this, Twin uh, Decks, yeah. With this very uh, unique Soul Tide deck. I don't know if I want to call it Control, but it's not quite mid-range. Right. So It is, the way I describe it is the best cards in these colors. So I, it's controlling in the fact that Liliana lends herself to a more control game, and Jace also does the same. So right. Very Gerard Fabiano-esque in terms of... Uh, color and just card quality. Yeah. And then you have kind of a different plan from what, you know, the previous Soul Tide decks we've seen. Of course, you got your discard suite of Thought Season, Inquisition, Serum Visions as your cantrip. Yep. Tarmogoyf, no stranger, along with Abrupt Decay. But Jace is what really kind of ties everything together, yeah. all these new mid-range and control decks. Jace is incredible. He's one of the best cards that's not seeing as much play as he should. Uh, when you resolve him on turn two and they don't have a bolt for it and he flips, you're 80% to win the game easily. Flashing back, spells like Serum Visions or Thoughtseize or Abrupt Decay really do lend themselves to a winning position on a board state. Um, and our most favorite card in this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pull this one up. Profane Command, we see this a lot in Cube. But yeah. Not a lot in Modern. Yeah, uh, Jason and Liliana both lend themselves to playing face up games of Magic. Basically Liliana is making you see basically everything in their hand because of her plus one and Jace is letting you flashback spells at a cheaper cost than Snapcaster would. So being able to flashback a Profane Command, getting your Goyf back, getting your Jace back after you already used them twice, it's big game and it's major, major card advantage. It's sort of like this version, this deck's version of Colligan's Command. Yes, absolutely. Very, very good at bringing back all of your creatures, you know, scavenging news from Jace if you, you know, need an extra one of those for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tarmogoyf. And then Corsair Crufix. This is a Jeff Hoagland approved modern card. Yes. Here. We see him play that a lot. What's the role here? Well, I'll start off by saying I don't think you should play, be playing Corsair without Tarmogoyf. They are very good and they are very good together, but Corsair is less good alone. Um, of course, we're pumping the Tarmogoyf, obviously. Sure. Uh, getting lands off the top of the deck, you know, just again, lending itself to playing face up gains of magic, which spells like uh, Serum Visions are really good at doing, and uh, Liliana, Jace, Profane Commands, and the likes. Yeah, you don't have a ton of instant speed interaction. You're operating a lot on your turn. Your instants, of course, are mostly your removal spells. Yes. And even that Profane Command and Maelstrom Pulse for sorcery, so. Yeah. Um, my instants uh, include Abrupt Decays and a Dismember and a Murderous Cut. Um, those two are there for my Terminate spots. You know, I don't get spells like Terminate. That card's very good right now. So I have to play spells like Murderous Cut. But I can't play too many of them because Tassiger, they don't really work well together with Delve. So I decided to run, run one Dismember. And it's been very good today. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people just opting to that card for their catch-all position. We've yeah. seen it just any variety of deck. It's just popping up as an answer to anything. Absolutely. Of course, Tassiger you mentioned, but just going alongside all these cards with value, mm -hmm. being able to rebuy any of them seems very good. Yeah, massive, massive card advantage. Huge guy. You can play him for one, two mana, and it's no problem. He's just great. It's a must-answer must card, just like Jace, Tarmogoy, Liliana. And Corsair, too. Basically, these cards will take over the game on their own, and if you resolve one of those threats, you're in good position. Yeah, the deck seems to come up and kind of fill the space that these Jond and Abzan decks do, along with Grixis for the most part, but they're all, you know, got their own flavors. What makes this deck, you know, better than those decks, or why would you choose to play this over those types of decks? Well, I would first say that this is a metagame deck, first and foremost. I don't think that Serum Visions is a better card than Lightning Bolt, or that uh, Jace is a better card than Dark Confident. They're different cards. Lightning Bolt is an incredible magic card, mm -hmm. but Serum Visions is better in different matchups where a Lightning Bolt could be dead in, like Tron and whatnot. And Jace, he plays a different game than Dark Confident. Saves you life, flashes back spells, works really good at shrinking their creatures, controls the board much better than Dark Confident does. Yeah. And that's basically the big difference between my deck and Jund. Clearly coming into the control you know, range more so than all those other Correct. Obzon and Jund decks. All right, so we'll move on to the sideboard here. You said you got to have a way to deal with Tron and stuff. Fulminator Mage, the set. full four of <laughs> the You're not messing in. around. No, uh, Tron, I dubbed as the unwinnable matchup that this deck has a problem with. Um, Fulminator Mage, Profane Command, Jace, they all do a decent job of trying to get there, as well as the discard sweep. But still, if they resolve a Karn or a Wormcoil, 
we don't have Path to Exile, we're in some trouble. Um, that's this is why the Fulminators are there to help out in that matchup. Got a bunch of little removal here in terms of Dark Blast, Disfigure, then a bigger sweeper in Damnation. Yeah. Just dealing with kind of the fast decks. Yeah, Damnation's uh, there for Affinity and like the company decks. Haven't seen much of that today. Uh, Dark Blast is it, just an incredible card with Jace. I, you can Dark Blast four times with Jace uh, <laughs> in one turn. Upkeep Dark Blast, dredge it for your draw step, dredge it from Jace, and flash it back with Jace. So you can give something minus four, minus four in one turn. So. I haven't thought of that possibility because I was like, yeah, you can play it in two turns usually. You yeah. play it twice in a turn, but four times. <laughs> if you need a four times. They're, they're, they're <laughs> one toughness threats are definitely gone, and three toughness threats will most likely be gone too. Yeah, we see those cards just take care of Infect, Affinity, all those little swarm decks. Yep. Knight, Knight of Souls Betrayal sort of doing same the same thing. thing, but also against Twin. Yep. Uh, I haven't brought it in against Twin. A four mana enchantment's real tough to tap out against, especially if they're not bringing out the combo. Uh, or especially if, if they're uh, sure. bringing out the combo, rather. Because if they bring out the combo and you bring a knight, it's a dead card. It's too expensive. I guess you can discard it to Jace, but you can't even flash it back. Mm -hmm. I, I kept that in the sideboard for the Infect and okay. Affinities of the world. Yeah, we've se I've seen some decks, you know, kind of use it for the splash damage. Yeah. Sometimes against the combo, but if you're not quite as worried about the combo. Yeah, we have four above the case, so it, it, yeah. it works out. Then you got your gain life package between Thrag Tusk and Kitchen Finks. Also just very durable threats, yeah. I guess, and against the Jun decks and that Absolutely. Type of uh, these also come in against control decks where you want to blank their lightning bolts, so you take out your Jaces, you take out some amount of scavenging use, you probably only want one, and you're blanking a lightning bolt, and that is big because who wants a lightning bolt at Kitchen Finks? Right. Or a Thrag Tusk, I mean, yeah. that's that sounds like a bad That's a deal. losing proposition. Absolutely. Of course, you got one more ooze to shore up, you know, graveyard strategies and things like that. Tying it all together. Ashiok. Ashiok. Can't leave home without <laughs> Ashiok. Now that is a almost matchup specific for Jund and Collected Company. Uh, very good against green decks. That's where she shines. I brought it in against Living End last round and it was actually excellent. Right. Um, you would never imagine that, but my, my Living End matchup isn't great and Ashiok proved to be very, very worthwhile. Because if you can steal Living End, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting to cast your own Living End seems all right. Yeah. Oh, the deck looks pretty sweet. You're off to a great start, 6-0. and oh, Yep. Taking down all comers from, you know, Twin to Living In. You know it. Yep. And uh, it looks great. So thanks for joining me here on the sideboard. Thank Wish you for having me. Luck. It was a pleasure. Yep. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all weekend long for the action here in Cincinnati.